Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. In the previous video, we talked about modules in Node.js and how can we import and export those modules. So, just a recap. So, in the previous video, we used a syntax like this to export a module, and this was the syntax that we used to import the module. Now, if you are confused that you might have seen this kind of structure as well for exporting and this syntax to import the modules then this is the video for you now the thing is in node we have two formats in which we can export and import the modules the first one is common js and the second one is the native uh, module system for node and that is es6 modules so let me show you. So if you open the Node.js documentation, so you will find the documentation on modules, common JS modules, and modules, ECMAScript modules. So by default, when you create a project, a node project, they are activated. So therefore, a lot of time you would see this syntax module.exports for exporting and require function to import whatever is being exported if you are a test and working on cypress the code you write in cypress is executed in the browser so you can import or require js module but only those that work in a browser so you can require or import them as you are accustomed to so now the thing is in cypress both these types are supported so we are going to now work on es6 modules and the way we are going to export them is very simple you're going to say export and then you're going to export whatever you want to export from that file you could also come across this syntax so if you say export default and add so this is the default thing that is being exported from uh, this module and you can have only one uh, default export and the way we are going to import them is since you are exporting the object so you're going to import that object right from and now you're going to provide the relative path you can also provide the absolute path but now let's understand some more differences before we actually jump into the code part so thing is if you could see in the import that's a first difference so when you use the require this is a function right and this is a string literal that's difference number one now difference number two is here in it is not mandatory to provide the extension so you can provide or decide not to provide the extension and it would work but in case of module uh, from ES6 it is mandatory to provide the extension in case of ES6 we do not have those parameters that are available into the require here things work based on the variable binding so import receives a variable binding and export exposes one import and export must be at the top level not the case with require so you can call the require function anywhere so you can call that require function within your function and it would still work but that is not the case with import and we are going to see this practically now cgs work synchronously so common js module they work synchronously right while es6 modules can work both synchronous and asynchronous way so imagine it like this so you have multiple imports a b c and d so when they are happening synchronously so once a is completed then b would be executed and so on but in case of asynchronous all of these could be imported concurrently now now let's move on to the code part so what do i have in here so i've got the main file where i'm going to import the module from calculation module so in this module you could see we have got uh, three functions first one is add second one is subtract and then this is a square root and now let's understand how can we export the functionality which we want to export so you can use this export.default and you can write it like this or you can also say export default and just provide the name of the function choice is yours okay so you can write your function like this and then do all the exports at the end or you can do the export inline so for example you can also say export this function 
export the sub function and you can also decide to send this export and then you don't require this now you can like i mentioned this can only be one default export from this module so let's keep it like this okay so let us save this and when we have to import uh, these functions from this module it's very simple so what are we going to do we are going to say import and now remember this is our default export so you can uh, give it any name it's not compulsory to give the same name here the name of the function is square root so in here you can either say square root or you can say sqrt from and see it is mandatory to provide the extensions in here so when you are importing the non-default one they are the objects so herein you have to say import you have to create that object and then you have to import this now this name has to be exactly the same all right so you're exporting add and exporting sub so in here you have to say add and sum okay and now this is a console statement simple enough uh, we are doing the square root we are doing the sum and we are doing the subtraction so let us execute this module and the way we are going to do is uh, node and this is inside my es6 module folder and then we have got this main.js let us execute so we could see that cannot use import outside a module so uh, this is a problem and to fix this what do we have to do you could see that uh, either the the extension of this file uh, main.js and calc.js should be mjs or we can do one more thing in the package.json so let us pick this code and that means by default the support is there for common js modules so if you want to activate the esx module this is one way now let us come to the uh, main.js again and execute this so now we get the result back square root of 25 is 5 sum of 5 and 10 is 15 and the difference um, between uh, 5 and 10 is minus 5 so if you watch closely what i have done is i have imported the square root in one line and add and subtract in another line you can import these in one line just by doing this so you can say square root comma and then the object and let us run the code again so it is still working great the other thing that we can also do here is we can provide the alias now this is already an alias as you could see so default one is you can give any name so that means it's an alias and herein you could see we can say add as a and sub as s okay and now let us uh, come in these and uh, uncomment the one which has got the aliases so now we have got this a and this and now if i run this i get the same result back right so you can also use alias now so besides doing it this way where type is equal to module what we can also do is let's so let us delete that and we can make these js files as uh, mjs file which means that these are uh, ecmascript modules so all you have to do is you have to change it to mjs and similarly for common js module we have cjs extension then you don't uh, need to follow the package or json scope if you provide these uh, extensions so this is done in the main.js let me just take a copy of uh, this and we got to make a change here we have to say mjs because extension is mandatory okay and now let us execute this so we get the result back and you could see there is no entry in here okay so let me just change it back okay this is done so CommonJS is dynamic and ESX modules are static by default. So let us see that. So this is a simple addition function and inside that using the require function, I'm loading this module which has exported this add function which we created in the previous video and then I'm simply logging this and then we are invoking this addition method. Okay, so we do not have type is equal to module. All right. 
so which means that by default it would work on common js and so let us execute this and see what will happen so we get our result back all right great so let me comment this out and let us do the same with esx module and let me just cut this from here and put it inside the function so now if we execute this we get an error back okay and it says to load an esx module set type is equal to module or use this mjs extension that's fine let us change the package.json type is equal to module great we come here let us execute this again we again get an error back and this time the error is different so this is not accepted inside the function so we have to cut this from here and paste above this function now if we run this we get our result back so i hope uh, now the things are clear because we have two different modules and hence the syntax may differ and depending upon your project if it is uh, working on es module or it is working on common js so you now know both the ways of exporting and importing modules thank you so much